Hi lovelies, welcome back to my kitchen, it's Dami. I trust you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be showing you how I elevate the humble puff puff, a popular Nigerian street food and I'm going to elevate it to waffle status. In this video I'm going to be making two versions, the sweet one and the savory one. I'll also show you how to make my spicy tomato jam and some fried chicken. So let's get started. I'm going to be starting with the fried chicken, chicken drumsticks, two cups buttermilk, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of white pepper and some hot sauce to taste. So you can season this however you like. So I'm going to be seasoning my buttermilk and then we would use it on, pour it on the chicken. If you don't have buttermilk, you can get regular milk and just add some vinegar to it to cuddle the milk. Okay, so I'm going to be adding my salt, garlic powder, white pepper, and hot sauce. So um, you can taste this if the salt is enough or um, everything is enough, all the spices you added are enough. So when you are doing this, you want to plan ahead. You need to let this marinade soak in for at least six hours. It's going to help tenderize the chicken and make it really flavorful. Or you can do it overnight. So I plan this for dinner. So I'm just making it in the morning so that by evening I will just fry it up. Now I'm going to cover this up and put it in the fridge for at least 6 hours. For the spicy tomato jam I will be using 10 tomatoes diced, half red onion, 1 cup brown sugar, 4 chili peppers, 2 teaspoons dried basil, 2 teaspoons salt, 2 teaspoons paprika and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use lemon juice if you want. Now I'm just going to dump all the ingredients in my pot, the tomatoes, onions, sugar, pepper and all the spices. You can customize the spices if you want and then I'm going to cover it and let it come to a boil for about 10 to 15 minutes. So now that it has come to a boil, I'm just going to reduce the heat and let it simmer until it becomes a jam. So it's been about 20 minutes. The time would vary based on how much liquid you have in your tomatoes. So it's already thick enough. The brown sugar has formed a syrup. So the tomato jam is ready. So you don't want to leave it um, to get too dry on this because it's going to burn so i'm just going to leave it on the um cooktop to let the residual heat finish it up and um this is our tomato jam it's really really good you can use it to eat chicken you can use it for fries you can use it in your burger like anything you use ketchup for so i let the tomato jam completely cool down on the pan um the residual heat from the cooktop finished off all the liquid that is left that's why i didn't let it dry completely yummy goodness so i'm going to set this aside now i want to start my puff puff and my chicken so for my puff puff i'm just using the regular ingredients for puff puff i have three cups of purpose flour sifted i have one and a half cups of warm water half cup of sugar one tablespoon of yeast and half teaspoon of ground nutmeg so if you watched my sausage bread rolls video you see that i proofed my bread dough using the instant pot so that's what i'm going to be doing here too for my puff puff butter i'm just going to add everything together now i'm using instant dry yeast so i don't have to activate this first i can just mix it with the rest of my ingredients so this is how it looks It's dropping from the spoon. It's not so, you don't want it to be too loose. So, I'm going to put this in my instant pot. So, 
so i just covered it with a clean wrap and then i'll cover it with the cover of the instant spot and i'll select the yogurt function then i'll set my phone timer for 20 minutes by 20 minutes this would have been proofed so for my dredge i'm going to be using three cups of all-purpose flour two teaspoons of salt two teaspoons of smoked paprika two teaspoons of um garlic powder and one and a half teaspoons of black pepper you can also add cayenne pepper to this if you want it spicy but i already added hot sauce to my brine and i'm using a spicy tomato jam so i don't want this to get i don't want the chicken to go too crazy all right so i'm just going to mix all this up I'm going to take some of this buttermilk mixture. And now I'm going to pick a piece of chicken. I'll put it here. You press it well into the chicken. And then I'll place this on the rack so i'm keeping my hands separate one hand for this one hand for this so i'm done breading the chicken this is how it looks Let's clear this place and fry. I'm just going to place it into the oil and you lay it away from you so that in case it's your splash, it doesn't splash on you. You want to make sure you don't overcrowd the pan so that you don't bring down the temperature of the oil too quickly. And then I'm going to fry this for about 10 to 15 minutes because I have boning on so the internal temperature is at least 165 F all right so it's been about 20 minutes look at it look at the puff puff butter it has doubled in size and it's bubbly so I'm going to set this aside work on my chicken and I'll come back my fried chicken is done it's really crispy. Can you hear that? So I'm going to set this aside to rest while I work on my puff puff waffles. Yeah. See my butter. Okay. So I'm just going to punch this down a bit. I'm going to deflate it a bit. Now I'm going to scoop out my butter onto the waffle iron. all right so it actually works <laughs> i just got the idea in my head so i'm going to put this out see how it looks so let's start and then cover it let's look at our test puff puff it works <laughs> hmm Tastes exactly like puff puff. <laughs> so, in the spirit of experimenting, I added some water to the leftover butter after I made the big fluffy ones, and then um, I'm making the thinner one. I prefer the fluffy ones though. The color was better, the taste was better, and you know it feels heavier. The one that I added water to felt really thin. So I divided the waffles into three. I'm making two sweet ones and one savory one. I'm just putting butter and some syrup on one. And then for the other set of waffles, I'm putting cream and some fresh strawberries. So I have two sweet waffles. And then for the savory ones, I'm just going to serve it with the chicken and the spicy tomato jam with a bottle of chilled malt. And then I'm going to open up the chicken for you to see that it's cooked through.
Thank you for watching. I appreciate your continued support. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and also leave a comment in the comment section below on what you think about this recipe. I hope you get to replicate this recipe. If you do, please tag me on Instagram at Dami's Kitchen. I would love, love, love to see your recreations. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and turn on your post notifications so you'll be the first to know when I post a new video, which is every Saturday by 12 p.m. Eastern Time or 5 p.m. West African Time. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.